Are you looking for a dedicated media server? Well, today we're having a look at Libre Elec and we're having a look at Jellyfin. We want to know what options they offer. We want to know how they can actually benefit you and what features they have. So without further ado, let us climb in. Let's have a look at Libre Elec now. So this is really a purpose built media center operation system. So, um, it's a lightweight Linux based operating system specifically designed to run Kodi Media Center's software. It actually transforms devices like Raspberry Pi into powerful home media players with minimal resource usage. The key emphasis on minimal resource usage, its streamlined um, interface is great for browsing local and networked content, and it is perfect for dedicated media center setups. It operates as a complete just enough operation, operation system for media playback. You can see over here, it is lightning fast. It is um, 4K playback supportive, and also it has Kodi add-on. So you can um, you can really use this as um, if you have minimal system requirements or minimal system resources. It is perfect for dedicated media devices. Also, as I mentioned, it supports high quality media up to 4K, and it is and will perform smoothly. It also allows um, those Kodi add-ons, so there are hundreds and thousands for you to choose on, choose from, so they have many, many options. The last thing over here is we're gonna have a look at how simple it is to install. So it is a easy setup process on Raspberry and um, PCs, and it has a, um, a set top box, which uses a USB SD creator tool. It also has large user and development communities, which provide troubleshooting guides, custom configurations. So it really is fantastic at being community powered. It also has frequent and regular updates, um, which align with Kodi releases, and it ensures new features and security patches that are always available. You can see over here, Jellyfin is also fantastic. Um, it is open source media and it is a self-hosted freedom. So you can see it is completely free. We love free software. It is self-hosted and it's great for managing and streaming your personal media collection without any subscription fees or any premium paywalls. It is a server client architecture for a whole home streaming system. It's accessible from multi devices simultaneously, and you have complete control over your content. You can access your media from your web browser, smart TV, mobile device, and even a Kodi via add ons. There are no ads, no tracking, no subscriptions. It's literally just your content when you need it. You can also see over here. Um, allows you to organize your entire media collection with user profiles. There is also granular access controls for family members. So you can implement that in terms of maybe having uh, your children's content and your own content, or maybe even um, different types of content. It also has live TV support, a DVR capabilities, and content syncing for offline access when you're away from home. It also also uh, automatically transcodes, which ensures your media plays on any device, regardless of the format or the connection speed. The last thing that we're going to have a look at here for Jellyfin is that there are literally no hidden costs or premium features. So it is 100% truly open source. Everything is included and it is open for community development. It has extensive plugins, so um, you can extend the functionality with plugins for metadata, subtitles, notifications, and any other third-party service. It also runs on Windows, Linux, Mac, NAS devices, Docker containers, and virtual machines. It is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic thing. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there is a ton of options out there. There really, really are. And to really go and dig deep and find out which one works for you is the best advice that I can give you. Go ahead, try them, put them to real use and see what actually works. Now, if this really was helpful, you can drop us a like to show your support. I will see you next time.